Hey there, how you doing? Charlie Winters here with horse racing and football tips for Saturday the 20th of April. Well, fingers crossed, I don't want to tempt fate, but hopefully good news for the chicken. So give me a like for that. It's pooing like it's never pooed before. So um, fingers crossed. Anyway, that, that will really screw up the algorithms of Google. <laughs> Sorry, of YouTube. Anyway, let's get into it. So first of all, quickly... The football bet. It'll literally take 10 sec 20 seconds. So, the three matches are as follows. Sheffield United versus Burnley. Two dreadful teams. Burnley must win this game to stand any sniff of staying up. Sheffield United often score at home. Burnley must win the game. So, I'm going for Sheffield United to score. Burnley to score more. Or a very tactical way of um, <laughs> explaining things. The next match is, if you're aware of this, I've um, had a pre-season bet where I've had four casts, first and second, in the Championship and in League Two. Well, I've actually got first, second and third in League Two. Mansfield Town, Stockport and Wrexham reverse forecast. My other bet is Southampton, Leicester and Norwich. I am rely relying on Southampton and Leicester to hopefully finish first and second. It's touch and go. However, there's another bet where I've had Cardiff to finish um, in the second half of the table. So this is like a six-pointer for me because it's Southampton must be Cardiff. Um, so I've gone for that match just for like because it's a six-pointer. So I need well, we need goals. These are goals, goals, goals. By the way, bets. But I'm going to talk you through the bet very shortly. And finally, is sorry for those of you with dodgy eyes. Um, Right, there's another with a lot at stake. Doncaster Rovers versus Barrow. Both teams need to win. Neither team can afford to lose. So, yeah, it'll be a nil-nil draw. No, hopefully it'll be 7-3. So, what the what is the bet? It's um, £4. Sorry, no. Five pound over two and a half goals treble. That's a Doncaster Rovers over two and a half, Cardiff City over two and a half, and Sheffield United over two and a half goals. It's then a three pound over three and a half goals. The same matches, and then it's a pound both teams to score in the first half treble. That normally makes about fifty sixty quid. And a pound, both teams to score in all three matches, treble, um, both teams to score in the second half. Norman makes about 20, 25 quid. Last time I made a video, we actually got the second half goal, treble up. I think it made 19 pound. So on to the horse racing, which you're all interested in. Well, we're abs having an absolutely shocking run. And I mean dreadful. So... If I'm in dreadful form, I'm going to go for a trainer that's in decent form. I'm going for Willie Mullins, and I'm not going for his really fancied horses. I'm going for horses that have got a bit of a sniff and um, too big a prize to ignore. They're not all Willie Mullins. I've gone for different meetings. So the first selection is in the Air Scottish Grand National in the 335 at Air. We'll have one. 25 to 1. Could be 20s. Uh, could be... 14s on the off, could be 50s. I don't know where it's going to go. It's William, it's William Mullins. This horse has been, been actually running fairly well. Um, it seems to be progressing, being stepped up in trip. It's also enjoying being uh, racing prominently. I like horses that race prominently in the Air Gold Cup. Uh, well, in the Scottish Grand National Air Gold Cup. Uh, Scottish Grand National, sorry. I keep saying Gold Cup. In the Air Scottish Grand National. And it's William Mullins, and I can't ignore it. It's running pretty well, and I think it's got a chance. They're paying seven places. The next selection is Westport Cove at 14 to 1 in the 225 at Air in the Scottish Champion Nurgle, paying five places instead of three. This is a horse that is completely opposite. It's over two miles, and it'll be held up last, and it wants a fast pace. Gets a fast pace, it's got every chance. I don't think it's fantastically handicapped. But it's Willie Mullins. He knows the time of day with it. He wouldn't send it if it hasn't got a sniff. I think he's hoping for a pace collapse. And this one could pick up the pieces. Third selection is Charger. 8-1 to one in the 150 at A. In the champion handicap chase. In the five places instead of three. Right. 
I must be bonkers picking this one. It's what is it, 11 years old, never tackled three mile ever, and it's first time over three miles. I, I tipped this horse last time it ran over two and a half miles. It was never, ever put in the race. Was it being prepped over a stiff two and a half mile at, at Cheltenham, ready for... And it, was it being trained, like, you know, at home? Was it being trained, like, running long distances at home? Plenty of prep work for running over three miles? I don't know. I've got no insider knowledge. But why are they running it over three miles over it as an 11-year-old? 11, um, 11 it is a relative... Well, it is a... A relatively easy track. It's, it's a galloping track. Um, it's not a roller coaster. And if it's going to get it air, it, well, if it's going to get three mile, it's got a decent chance of air. Um, I can't remember what the ground is actually. I, I, I looked at the ground when I was picking the selections. Um, I think it's soft, and maybe on, on a certain part of the course, it's good to soft. I, I think it's soft, so the ground's not going to be against it. And I think a very quiet ride. It, it could sneak into the race. Paying for the first five, it's interesting. The first two in the race, um, the horses one and two are a long way clear on the ratings. Um, the class horses of the field. So I think Charger, I think it's number one. Uh, if it stays, I think it's got a chance. The next selection is probably the most interesting. Alpha Crucis at 18 to 1 in the 315 at Newbury in the Spring Cup, seven places instead of three. I think they want to be running down the middle, maybe slightly near, uh, near side, which is middle to high numbers. This horse ran well in the, um, I think it was a Lincoln, or it might have been the, um, the com what was it, the commiseration race, what do you call it, it or, or the second race. Um, it came forth in desperate ground. This horse has never really been tried on decent ground, apart from when it was like um, its first three runs, when it was like understanding what to do. So you can, you can put a line through that. Does this horse need soft and heavy ground? I don't know. Well, we'll find out tomorrow. Um, I think it's soft, maybe good to soft in places at Newbury. I think this horse has got every chance. It's down a pound from even running well at Doncaster. Anna Gibson, she rode it then, she rides it again. It's got to have a chance. Do for luck, 16 to 1, 420 at first, paying four places instead of three. Drawn high, Jason Hart on board, every chance. And finally, Mercia. Bearing in mind, at first, you want to be. You want to be up with the pace, and preferably it's a bigger bonus if you're drawn high, because they do normally come near side. You watch, they'll go far side, but normally they come, worst case, middle, but normally they come to near side. And as I say, they're both drawn high. Mercia, uh, five past six at first. It's the most realist, realistic chance of a winner. It's a competitive race, but it's the most realistic chance of a winner. Races prominently ran a crack at last, sorry, the time before last. Um, I believe it was at Catrick, I think. Uh, just being pipped towards a finish, loves soft ground, races prominently, got every chance. So the, those are the <clears throat> excuse me, those are the six horses um, for the for the horse racing bet. I've given you the I've given you the football bet. So the very best of luck, Charlie Winters over and out. Cheers, mate.